As you likely know, I'm a big fan of chess rigs just like this. Over the years, I've reviewed many, namely the most popular brands and products out there, Hill People Gear, Hill Contex, and so on. Just in case you don't know this, chess rigs are a great way to carry gear, namely items that you want to keep safe and secure, but at the same time close at hand. Generally, when I'm out on a hike or even a backpacking trip, I have a chest rig with me. And inside of that rig, I will have a number of items, such as food and snacks, water, camera batteries, Ziploc bags for quick waterproofing. I'll keep my phone in there, my keys in there, my wallet in there. Sometimes I'll have a cold weather kit such as face mask, gloves, a hat, some hand warmers. I could have a headlamp in there, a flashlight. At times I'll even have personal protection inside of this kit. For longer duration hikes, I'll even keep a battery bank in there with a charging cable so I could charge my device, especially as I'm recording GPS information and so on. With that out of the way, let me introduce you all to the Osprey Archeon Chest Rig. Check this out, folks. My name is Luke, this is the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you very much for tuning in. To start off here, let's go ahead and take this off and let's go over the features of this kit. As you can see there, it's very simple to take off. At the same time, it is very simple to put on. Just over the head, just like that. Then you have to grab the strap from behind and clip it into place. I mean, very, very simple, that takes a few seconds. No big deal. Just as easy as any other chest rig. The first thing that really stands out, at least to me, is how shiny this material is. Unfortunately, when you look at pictures of this product online, the material is not shiny. It's a matte sort of finish to it. With that being said though, let's go over the features. We have four loops. A loop here, 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 and here. We have a front zippered pocket with a draw pull. We're looking at YKK zippers. These are not waterproof, but they are water resistant. On the inside, we have quite a bit of space here. Behind that, we have an additional zippered pocket. And on the inside, again, we have quite a bit of space. We have a clip here for keys. There's enough space here for your phone or maybe a GPS unit if you carry one. Then we have the main pocket. With this main pocket, we have two-way zippers. And this pocket opens up very, very wide, as you all can see here. Inside of this, we have a ton of space and a lot of organization options. As you can see here, I have an example of a loadout. First aid kit, pocket knife, I have some hand warmers, and some camera batteries. And there was plenty of space left over. On the inside, we have a zippered pocket. Then we have a large sleeve. We have a center pocket. And then on the other side, we have two stretchy elastic pockets. Flipping the system over to the back side, this is what the ventilation aspect looks like. So what we have here is a piece of foam that has some ridges in it. We have actually three different levels here. So we have a recess around the outside in the center, then it goes up and it's recessed to these points here. With the straps, for the most part, they could be tucked inside each one of these points here for easy storage. Now, everyone, what you're looking at is the back pad. Basically, this goes on your backside and that puts the tension on the front of the pack and holds it into place. So what we have here is some padding with like a meshy sort of material. Here in a second, we'll talk about the material specifically. At the top of this harness, we have adjusters that can be disconnected, but no buckles. Down at the bottom, we have buckles and they too can be adjusted. In a nutshell, that is the Osprey chest rig. Now let's go over some stats real quick. This is available in two colors, green and black. It features numerous carry modes. You can wear this on your chest. It can also be worn as a waist belt or a lumbar pack with an optional Archeon 40 liter waist belt. Additionally, this can be mounted to a backpack so that you could carry not only the chest rig, but you could wear a backpack as well. And of course, you could wear this full system with a backpack on top of it. When mounting it to a backpack specifically, it is designed with the Archeon 24, 30, and 40 liters in mind. As far as the materials go, you're looking at an 840 denier ballistic polyester that has been DWR treated. The accent materials are a 200 denier polyester that have also been treated with a DWR. The bottom of the rig features an 840 ballistic polyester as well. The system has numerous number 10 YKK RCPU coated zippers. Again, they're not waterproof, but they are water resistant. And the back panel is a compression molded EVA foam. It features a four liter capacity. And as far as the dimensions go, it is 11.8 inches long, seven inches tall, and it has a depth of roughly 4.3 inches. 
As far as the weight goes, you are looking at 0.9 pounds. The price of this is 80 bucks. And that wraps up the stats. Now everybody, let me go over my impressions of the system so far. First, we have to talk about quality. As you would expect with an Osprey product, the quality here is fantastic. This is a very well-made product, excellent materials. The overall craftsmanship on this is perfect, as it should be, because again, it's an Osprey product. They make excellent products. Putting this on is easy, taking it off is just as easy. As far as the overall appearance and the looks of this product goes, this is an area where I'm disappointed. Again, it goes back to the pictures that I've seen online. The pictures online do not show that this is a shiny material. It's somewhat plasticky looking, it's very shiny, and to be frank, I don't like it. It doesn't match any of my gear, it doesn't match my personal taste at all. About the best way to describe this, in my opinion, is to compare this to a purse as far as the materials go. It is shiny like a purse's material would be. It is not flat like most backpacks, like most outdoor products, and I think that's a big shame. For a lot of people, just the shininess of the material is going to be a big turnoff. To be honest, I like this so little that if I had known this was shiny, I probably wouldn't have purchased it, but now that I did, I did purchase it, I'm going to test it out, but the simple truth is, I do not like this shiny material. This is not my style at all. As far as space and capacity goes inside of this, the front pocket offers enough space for very thin items. It really is perfect for like your phone, your keys, maybe your wallet, something like that. You could fit a narrow snack inside of there if you want to. The secondary pocket, which only has one drop pool, I think that's a shame. Oftentimes I'm going to grab another draw pull, but there isn't one. There's only one. If it had dual draw pulls like the third pocket, you could always have that secondary pocket ready to unzip, but that's not the case. You have one zipper and it's gonna be on the right side. So that's just something I'll have to like beat into my memory. But you have two zippers here, one zipper here. Speaking of the secondary pocket, there's quite a bit of space in here. You can easily fit your phone, a GPS unit, so on and so forth. One thing that I've noticed here is because the draw pulls are so long, they have a tendency to fall over. So if you have the third pocket's draw pulls up here at the top, they will fall into the second pocket. So when you go to close the second pocket, they get zipped up in there. It's not that big of an issue, but it is a slight annoyance. The main star for this system here is that third level pocket. When you unzip this completely, it unfolds almost like a shelf here. Not to the same extent as other systems, but it's a fair amount. We have the zippered compartment, the secondary compartment, the third level, and then we have the stretchy pockets. All in all, there is a ton of space here. There's no doubt about that. With the zippers, they are of an excellent quality and they're very smooth. And I do like the fact that they're water resistant. One problem for this kit is the EVA foam that they have on the backside here. Unfortunately, the company did not go with any sort of mesh, and that was a big mistake, because this EVA foam is terrible as far as ventilation goes. I've only been wearing this for about 20 minutes, and the front of my shirt here is soaking wet, and that's because there's no ventilation, it holds in heat. If you're going to wear this, you will be soaking wet. This here is the Helicon Tex Numbat. I've been wearing this chest rig for a long time. You all have seen this in plenty of adventures and so on. I've done numerous videos on it. The backside features a foam. Yes, you will sweat when wearing this, but it's not as bad as this Osprey pack. This Osprey chest rig really is bad when it comes to ventilation. And because of that, as soon as you put it on, you begin to sweat. This is a little bit surprising to see because I would have figured that Osprey would have known better. We have the mesh panel as far as the back goes, and that works well. But this EVA foam here, it is quite bad. Yes, this does offer some rigidity to this system here, but the trade-off is fairly substantial as far as heat buildup, moisture buildup, and so on. As far as the price goes for this, I think $80 is reasonable. The quality is excellent. The craftsmanship is excellent. The materials are very good. You may know this, you may not, but chest rigs can vary in price. Some are like 40 bucks. The Helicon Tex, I wanna say is around $70, something like that. But from there, they can skyrocket in price. Some could be three, $400 in cost. So $80, in my opinion, it's a fair price for this. I have been looking at the Archeon system for a while now, and I've considered purchasing the 40 liter backpack because I really did like the looks of it. The green and the black, it looks sharp. But now that I've seen this, there's no way I'm going to purchase that system because I do not like this shiny material. Again, I don't think most guys are going to appreciate that either. It looks tactical and cool from a distance, but up close, it's like a tactical purse <laughs> material. It just doesn't look good, in my opinion. 
Something else that I don't like about this system is the lack of Velcro on the front, so you cannot put any sort of patches or anything like that. Older versions of this kit had Velcro on the front, and also at the same time the materials were matte, not this shiny stuff. So whatever they're doing now, I think they need to go back some. They need to backtrack because, in my opinion, they're taking steps into the wrong direction. This becomes more of a travel and leisure sort of thing, but at the same time, I don't know who would wear this to town. Like if you were a tourist or something like that. You have to think about the size and the bulk and the heat buildup and the sweating with this. This just does not make sense for that aspect either. I mean, chest rigs primarily are for hiking and for backpacking, not for travel. So, I don't know. I just don't understand what Osprey is doing here. Let's talk about females wearing this kit here. Now, unfortunately, because this is a chest rig, it is designed to fit right on the chest. For women, this is uncomfortable. Imagine having a pouch system right over your boobs. I have yet to meet a single woman who actually likes wearing these. Susie tried this on, she didn't like it. She let one of her girlfriends try it on, she didn't like it. Nobody I've known who has tried on chest rigs from not only Osprey but other companies, no female has actually liked wearing these. So again, we have this shiny material that guys aren't going to like with a product here that women aren't going to be comfortable with. I'm just not sure if this makes any sense on numerous levels. Those are my impressions so far. Overall, this is just simply not my cup of tea. As far as the chest rig goes, as far as like the design of it goes, I see where they're going, it makes sense, it could be better, but without a doubt it is usable if you can get over this shiny material. For females, I don't think this is going to work. There's products out there that are going to be much more comfortable for them. I've already spoken about the issues as far as traveling with this. In addition to those issues, this looks somewhat tactical. You know what I mean? When you have like this chest system with straps and a back pad, it looks too tactical to wear to town for traveling purposes. Or at least that is my opinion. You could disagree if you want to. That's fine. In the end, everybody, I am disappointed with this product, but since I purchased it, we have it here. I've done this video. I will continue to test this out. In fact, I have a backpacking trip coming up very soon where I will be wearing this product. So stay tuned to the channel. This is a preview. Coming up in the future, I will have my review. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this? What do you all think about that shiny material? I don't even know how well that's actually coming through, but this is quite shiny. It's got a sheen to it. That makes it look very plasticky. Yeah. Comment down below, share your thoughts, folks. Before you go, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it. If you found this episode helpful, consider supporting the channel. Patreon, YouTube, you could join the Wolf Pack. Oh yeah. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I don't care if you buy this. I purchased this with my own money, so you're getting it straight. No nonsense, no sponsored crap, nothing like that. The Outdoor Gear Review is all about sharing information, and that is it. We're basically turning the YouTube model upside down. The channel's not about selling products, it's about sharing information. So if you want to support a channel like that, you can do so. Again, Patreon, YouTube, I appreciate it. Everybody, take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now. That's so shiny. <laughs> I really, really dislike this. At the same time, it doesn't go with any backpack system. Most backpacks are not made with a shiny material. It just doesn't make any sense. And the ventilation on this is atrocious. Huh.